Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Zano and this is episode 184 of the World Famous University Love Podcast, also known as Online Marketing Moves. Now, before we get started today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for the last couple of weeks. The sound quality of the show has been just a little bit off. A couple of episodes um, have sounded like I've been in the trash can, sound like I've been in the tunnel. You know, and we here at Online Marketing Moves are not about putting out, you know, bad. We, I don't want to put bad audio out there, you know. I know I say you need to produce content, but at the same time, you also want to produce quality. You, I want to, I, you want to be able to people to hear you because if, if they can't hear you, if it's, if, it's, if it's hit and miss with the audio, you'll become hit and miss with the audience, okay? So, I just want to apologize for that. We will get everything situated. We will get everything under control. We will get everything handled. You know, coming soon in the next couple of weeks, we will get we will get things down pat. You know, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, concerns about the podcast, I am going to give you my old Yahoo address. You can email me. You had questions, comments, complaints, anything about the show. You can email me at T-R-E-S-O-N-N-O. That's T-R-E-S-O-N-N-O at yahoo.com. Email me. Put in the subject line, you know, online marketing moves. I'll read it. I'll reply back. We can chit-chat. I can get to know you. And then if you if there's anything in the there's anything there's any topic that you want to discuss you know about in the show any any topic that you want to hear about please let me know and i will do some research and we will make a we will make a quality show out of that all right but with that being said we are going to talk about becoming a star in your niche okay now this is the reason why you want to you know, if you just say, I'm in fitness, what kind of fitness are you in? There's a lot of different fitness models. There's a lot of different. It's like if you do, especially now, radio is kind of different. But if you're doing a podcast, say if you want to do a podcast about hockey. You know, if you want to do a podcast about hockey, you will get hockey fans. And you see, that's a that's a sub niche, you know. It's not just sports, because if you do sports, it's sort of a wide, broad range of things. So it's like, okay, I might listen, I might not. But if you break it down and you go sub niche, being getting popular in a sub niche is sort of like being popular on a regional level, and there's nothing wrong with that. People that are regional stars make plenty of money. So what I'm telling you is. You can also make plenty of money from sub niches. You don't have to. It's like uh, if you ever, it's a book I got, Blue Ocean Strategy, and I've li- I've heard I heard that term from Russell Brunson I'm talking about Red Ocean. Red Ocean is just like sports. I'm I'm going to talk about sports. Okay, who isn't talking about sports? ESPN has a whole network. Fox News, Fox Sports has a whole network. But if you go down, if you talk about hockey. Or say tennis, or a one sport. If you talk about one sport, you probably can gain a faster listenership than just trying to create a a sports a broad sports podcast. So for you, this is what I want you to do. You think of if you whatever kind of neat, whatever kind of subject you want to talk about, whether it be video, whether it be podcast form, however you want to talk about blogging. Whatever you want to talk about, I want you to break it down. To go from, okay, I got a, I got a niche. I want to talk about fitness. All right, what kind of fitness? And break it down. You know, it's like I told you. I listened to this podcast this week about ja- a lady at Jazzercise. Jazzercise, okay? She was dancing, and she made plenty of money from Jazzercise. And I was talking to my friend because he listened to the podcast, and he said. I didn't even know they were still doing jazz and size. The lady made plenty of money. There's plenty of money to make in these sub niches. 
And that's what I want you to think about why you're trying to figure out if you're still trying to figure out what you want to do. Don't go broad range. Broad range is the kiss of death. You know, broad, broad range is sort of like trying to be George Clooney. You don't have to be George Clooney these days. You don't need to be George Clooney. You don't need to be a national star. All right. You could be your local. Think about your local weatherman. Think about your local. Think about any local celebrity in your region, in your section. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, we have plenty of uh, local. There's plenty of, uh, it's plenty of people, people that I know that are local stars that you, that you never heard of. And they do just fine. So that is what sub niche is all about. So don't go. Don't go Red Ocean. Don't go Red Ocean. Don't go, you know, sad sports. You know, we'll stick to sports because I, I I like sports. And I because I was thinking about this. <clears throat> now, you know, one step at a time, you know, this is one another thing before not to go on a tangent, but a mistake that I made in the beginning of my business venture was trying to do eight things at once. Get good at one thing, start generating the money from one thing. Then you can grow on it. Because I was thinking one day when I was doing a podcast, I was doing a podcast and I was like, oh, I should start a hockey podcast. And I was like, I barely have time to do this one podcast. I need to get better at this podcast. And then we can branch off and do other things. Because the more, once you start growing, you, you, you build up income, you build up income from your first goal. Then you can work on other projects. Okay. But. What I want you to do is think about how you want to get started, what you want to get started in, you know? Say if you want to be a copywriter, you know, you don't just say, oh, I'm going to write copy for for anything, you know? Find a find a section, you know, finance. If you want to write about finance, find that section. What do you want to talk about? Stocks? You know, break, break things down what you want to do. Break it down to what you want to do. Find the sub-niche, you know, all right? Be the regional star. Regional stars make plenty of money. And you can make plenty of money. All right, it's the 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 red ocean. It uh, you know, unless you have a big, unless you have a big budget, just saying, hey man, we're gonna talk about sports. It, it's, it's it won't work. You know, be like, hey, I want to talk about soccer. You know, I want to talk about let's yeah, let's talk about soccer. Soccer has <clears throat> soccer has plenty of leagues. You know, which one do you want to get into? All right. For you non-Americans, we'll say football. All right. You want to talk about football. What do you want to talk about? You should break it down, break it down again. Say, you know what? I'm going to discuss. I'm going to discuss La Liga. La Liga. OK. You want to discuss that league. You break that down. Then you make that into a podcast and then you talk about it. There's plenty of there's millions and millions of people who who watch that soccer, you know, that soccer, La Liga, you know, or it's like, what's the one? Man, I watched the one. I can't even think of it now. I don't know. I'm having a brain. Uh, it's on NBC Sports, the Premier League. Boom, that's the one I watch. I enjoy the Premier League. I watch the pr- Premier League. If somebody had a matter of fact, if somebody, yeah, matter of fact, what am I talking about? I used to listen to this podcast with the two soccer guys. I forget the name of the podcast, but. I listened to it, and they they discuss other leagues, but their main league was they talked about the Premier League. Okay, eventually their podcast they 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 got a TV show on NBC Sports. So never think I need to talk about a broad rank, a broad topic to get popular, to get known, to make money. You don't have to, you know. You don't have to. People want. People don't want to. It's like the guitar. There's different guitars. I didn't know this until my father-in-law, he had all these different guitars. And I said, how many guitars they got? He said, oh, they got all kinds of different guitars. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So if somebody likes a certain kind of guitar, they probably would watch a YouTube video about that brand of guitar. They wouldn't watch just a video about, oh, I want to hear about guitars. They were like, no, I like this brand of guitar. So I want to see this video and how they work in that guitar, you know? So there's all kinds of lanes. There all there all there are all kinds of ways you can go about this. So don't think red ocean. Think blue ocean. Break it down. 
be the regional star. Be the regional star. You don't have to be the national star. You don't have to be Leonardo. You don't have to be Leonardo DiCaprio, okay? You can be your local TV man, and you'll make out just fine, all right? So, that's it. We are out of time. Remember, what do you want to talk about? Sports? What kind of sports? Break it down. You know? Oh, you want to talk hockey? What hockey? You want to discuss the team? You know? You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at what can happen when you break down the niches, you know? You will be amazed. Keep breaking them down. Keep breaking them down, you know? And then when you, then when you get a pod, because when you get a podcast or you get a YouTube channel and you start and you start to grow and it starts to grow and you break and you break down the niche, then you can find people who are you can find people to interview. And of course, you know, the more the more people you interview, the more people you discuss with, the more people are going to pass your podcast around. And then that's when the that's when the beauty starts happening. All right. So with that being said, that's it for today's episode. My name is Tom Rosano. This is Online Marketing Moves. And if you haven't already, click and subscribe so you can get this podcast on a daily basis. But until next time, until tomorrow, we will talk to you later. And as always, everybody, peace.